What's up guys, it's me, Aubrey. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my space, a place where I love to share my knowledge and wisdom with love to all of you. So I got my tea and we're going to sit down and have some conversation about and what's been going on these past six months that has kept me away from YouTube and sharing my experience. I just feel so blessed to be able to evolve and have these ever-changing moments in my life. Like anytime that I just want to get up and move or change my identity, change how I see the world, change how I interact with the world, I choose to do so. So with that, I'm moving. This is going to be the first of maybe like two or three moving vlogs. I was vlogging heavy when I first moved into this space and just sharing my life and my content on social media. And then I kind of got into a rut and decided that I wanted to move, I'd say at least four months ago. So I've been knowing since February that I didn't want to stay in this place anymore. So I stopped decorating, I stopped buying things for the home, and it just didn't feel like a space that I felt comfortable in. It just felt like something that I was like spending time with. So I did come into this experience with some very like concrete goals that I wanted to achieve. And just to name a few, I wanted to expand my network, talk more about my business and places where people value like herbalism, um, holistic living, a natural birth, birth, all that. I also just wanted to like meet new women who were on the same wavelength as me. And I wanted to do some type of continuing education. And I pretty much feel like I've accomplished all of those goals and now I have a new subset of goals and I feel like this tension, this like pulling in my life is because I don't feel like this area, this space is aligned with me achieving those goals. So yeah, I just want to step out of the box, do a big move and see where life can take me. I have my timeline up so let's get into this tea. This is in no order or no severity as in like what kept me away, but these are some of the things that have been pulling me all year, which like I said, I'm grateful for because I have grown so much in six months as a woman, as someone who is newly 31 that I'm just like, whatever. First things first, I was completing a 10 month lactation program. And so basically I was training to be a lactation consultant, uh, IBCOC for those who know or those who want to look it up um, but it started with a 95 hour course so pretty much from last September until kind of now actually I was meeting for class every other weekend for like eight hours and it was something that I did want to talk about but I didn't want to talk about it prematurely but now that I have gotten to the end of it I'm just super excited to have graduated from the program softly graduated from the program um and then just moving on with the next chapter of my evolution into being a super birth worker so that was the first thing that was taking my time i can go on and on about that um the next big thing that happened is around like the end of january end of february i did go through like a breakup which boohoo sad for me actually i'm not sad i really don't care i'm not gonna say i don't care but that was something that i had to like deal with heal through move on past no hard feelings it's just something that happened and something that took my time and then march things just started picking up in march like i had a lot of work i was going out to a lot of local events because it was getting warmer outside so just having the opportunity to meet different philanthropists in the area different women who are working on the same mission as my full-time job because as y'all know not only am I a business owner and I was doing classes, but I also have a nine to five that is very strenuous. And of course, in April, I celebrated my 31st birthday. So just super excited about that opportunity to be in close proximity to women that love me dearly. I love them dearly. And it was fun. A time was had. And during that time, I was really focusing on my kind of like outward appearance and outward beauty. So spending more time just getting my nails done, my hair done and all that. Then in May, my baby sister took my life over um, in a good way. So I did tell y'all in one of the vlogs that I was expecting a baby nephew. Um, and he made his way earthside. 
um, in May. So basically, I was traveling from Maryland to North Carolina every two weeks during the month of May. So I went down for a celebration, came back. I went down for my sister's baby shower, came back. And then I got a call that she was in labor. So I had to like jump on a 11 p.m. No, it was 2 a.m. A 2 a.m. Um, bus ride to North Carolina because that was the only transportation. I was not about to miss her birth. Hopped right off the train, took a shower, and we labored throughout the morning. And by the afternoon, my beautiful nephew was here. So I was able to like really put some of those tangible skills from my lactation program to practice with my sister because she's now the first woman in our family to breastfeed. In June, I came home and I had to prioritize my health and my rest. So I pretty much spent this whole month just trying to rest, go to the gym, um, just reignite myself. And yeah, all of a sudden in June, I just decided that I needed more space because I'm really trying to pour into my business, pour into my life. And my business deserves more than just this corner of my house. See, let me show y'all. This is my work area that is also for my um, business stuff. And then I have my herbs over here, like all in my living room. As you can see, like I don't have a TV. I have a lot of my packing supplies in the closet. And you know, when you really believe in yourself and you really believe in your mission, you really have to pour into what you feel like it deserves. And it deserves its own room. It deserves its own space. It deserves its own area. And being in Maryland and DC, the cost of living is extremely high. So I don't have the means right now to rent an office area. And I am very possessive of my things. And I want to have my herbs like in my house where I know they are safe, where I know I can pray over them and, you know, cleanse the area. I want to have my pack and stuff like in my house just in case, you know, people come visit and they just want to get like a little package. So I do want these things close to me. Um, and I just need space for them to evolve. Now we are just going to pack up. I do want to mention that I do have another boyfriend. <laughs> like, don't ask me no questions. Like, I'm a pretty girl. And one of the things that pretty girls should never do is cry over spilled milk and harper over things that don't serve them. Like, so yeah, trying to get some things together. And then my man. <laughs> uh is going to come and help me pack later this week and help me move we've been dancing for so long under